In the last 10 parts, we made a basic custom rig, but there's always some way to improve it. For example, in this part, I will show you how you can make the animator's life easier with a few lanes of code. Here are two goals I want to achieve. Number one is snapping IK to FK or FK to IK. And number two is be able to swap, mirror or copy the arm pose from the other side. To be able to make this, we should use custom attributes. But this time we will write the attributes in max script. Let me explain how I want to do it. I can get the controller of an object using $controller. You can see there is position, rotation and scale. I want to get the rotation, so I use $controller.rotation. It returns a quaternion value. Since we have fixed our pivots, after mirroring the bones, we can simply assign the rotation value of the right side to the left side. Let's try it on left shoulder FK controller. Say we want to copy the right shoulder rotation to the left shoulder. So write this. Now we want to swap the right shoulder rotation, so write this. Store the first rotation to a variable named temprot, then do the same as before and assign temprot back to the second node. We can write this code for each bone. Instead, let's write a function to automate this process. We have named all the bones and controllers with a specific naming structure. For example, I know that I can get the opposite controller name only by changing the prefix. So let's write a function that can swap the rotation of a selected controller with the opposite controller. Define the function like this and add input node as an argument. First, let's store the rotation of the incoming controller in a variable named temprot. Now get the controller name and store it to node name. Get the first two characters of the node name and assign it to prefix using this code. Now I can get the opposite node name by replacing the prefix. First, let's write a simple if statement. If prefix is equal to R underline, then new prefix is equal to L underline. Else new prefix is R underline. Now print the result and see if it works. Now replace the first two characters of the node name with the new prefix and assign it to new node name. And let's get the opposite node and assign it to new node using get node by name. Now the rest of the code is exactly the same as before. We have the input node as well as the new node. So. Let's save this script for now and jump to the IKFK snapping. Snapping is so simple. For FK to IK, use this code. And for IK to FK, use this code. Now we have the code, but it's not a good idea to force the animator to open the script editor and run the code each time. The best place to keep this code is inside the custom attribute. I like to update the current attribute instead of creating new one. We can get the source code of the attribute using this code. Copy the result to the script editor and comment out the first two lines since we already have our custom attribute in a variable called dev. And because we want to edit it, add redefine to the code like this. Now each time we run this code, it will update the attributes. Let's add two buttons.
we can run any code using a button by calling on button pressed function. And I'm sure you know what to do now. It works, but undo doesn't work. So add undo on to the code like this. Now let's create the mirror functionality for FK ball. Add these three buttons. We have our swap function, so let's add it to this attribute. Call this function using the swap button and use fk controllers as input node. Now it doesn't make sense to create two other functions to do almost the same. Instead, let's make this one smarter by adding another argument named mod to define what we want to do with the incoming node. New argument is going to be an integer. One for swap, two for copy to me, and three for copy from me. Instead of writing three if statements, let's use 3ds max case. Now just do the same for the right arm. Do not forget to assign the right arm attribute to def variable before editing the code and changing the snapping prefix. Or even better, try to write a smart function. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something and if you want more series like this, do not forget to subscribe and support the channel. Bye.